Kings Island employees hold each other up. Somehow in this confusion at University Hospital, they got the news that their co-worker and another man died while trying to save a 22-year-old who fell into a pond inside the park. <laughs> Meanwhile, the flashing lights of an air care helicopter can be seen in the sky above Kings Island, and an ambulance rushes another victim to the hospital. Park officials themselves weren't sure what had happened. Well, apparently, somehow, they, uh, uh, they got into the water somehow. I don't know exactly how that happened, but uh, my understanding, all three were in the water at one particular point in time. Before we knew it, there was a couple of people trying to get down in the water, and we just reached down in there and pulled uh, the first victim out, which was a um, security guard. Paula Earls, a park guest, was one of the first on the scene. She's a nurse, and she tells me she did everything to keep the victims alive. We were just walking down to the Germantown area. There was a child that, that ran towards us, said someone was drowning, someone was electrocuted. Um, I saw the bustle of people, went over there, they'd pulled one victim out. I assessed that victim, he wasn't breathing, I started CPR. My boyfriend also pulled two other victims out and, and told me that each one of those were not breathing and that I needed to help them. The second deadly accident happened on this new ride. It's called the Flight Commander. Witnesses tell us the woman on the ride somehow broke free and fell head first onto the concrete. She was also rushed to the hospital by an air care helicopter, but it was too late. She died within minutes of the accident. As of right now, the Flight Commander ride in the Oktoberfest area of the park are completely shut down. While investigators try to find out what caused these two very tragic accidents. At Kings Island, I'm Lisa Cooney, News Channel 5 Today.